A woman in Adams County says there's a real mess left behind when a utility crew installed a 5G box in her yard. Our Jacqueline Quinn went to check it out. Let's go to her for a look at that story this morning. Jacqueline? Yeah, good morning. We have been following uh, 5G improvements and other utility upgrades, and this is a look at that. You know, yesterday when we came out here, we did see a bit of a mess, metal poking out of here and dirt, and that's why the homeowner is concerned because she believes uh, this could happen again to her and other people as we see more of these upgrades. One day, that crew just show up, and they did not even knock the door and tell me they're going to put the box in. Haley Wynn tells us the crew told her on April 30th the utility box going in at the end of her yard was related to 5G service. I spoke to the crews and then he say it for a big um, cell phone carrier. Wynn says she's found permits for past utility installations. However, has yet to find one this time. To make things worse, when crews were done, they left a mess. Metal sticking out and dirt across parts of her lawn. You see, it's, if I want to sell the home, for example, I have to fix it one because it will decrease in my home value. We contacted Adams County and their communications director told us the work was permitted. In an email, Krista Bruni explained it is not required that contractors notify residents of work done on county right of ways though it's common practice. However, the county agreed the front yard was not returned to its original condition, so the contractor was called and crews returned Thursday to fix it. It's still not complete. Meanwhile, when questions what could happen in the future. We, the residents, will have to clean up their mess. Again, yesterday, crews did come out here, uh, but they haven't finished the job. In fact, uh, there is now just an empty area there that needs to have rocks put back over it. And it looks like crews will continue. But Wynn says, you know, that's what she heard last time. They said they'd be back. So she hopes this time they will be. And again, this has been going on since April 30th. For now, reporting in Adams County, I'm Jacqueline Quinn covering Colorado First. Jacqueline, thanks a lot.